Dear friends and devoted believers, it is with hearts overflowing with hope and immense gratitude that we warmly welcome each and every one of you gathered here today on this blessed channel. May the enduring peace and boundless grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always, guiding and comforting you through every moment of your lives. In a rare and striking moment of candor, Pope Francis has recently spoken out about the foreboding arrival of the terrifying Antichrist, stirring deep reflections and conversations within our global community. His remarks address the fears and speculations that have long surrounded this ominous figure, prophesied within the sacred pages of the Bible. As the Pope's words resonate across the world, they carry significant weight and profound implications, particularly as we find ourselves living in times filled with uncertainty and anxiety, anxiously awaiting the signs that many believe herald the end times. This raises critical questions, could the emergence of the Antichrist truly be imminent? Are we standing on the brink of a pivotal moment in history? Today, let us embark on a thoughtful exploration of this video, seeking to uncover the truth behind Pope Francis's revelation and what it may signify for each of us in our daily lives. We begin our journey rooted in Christian teachings concerning the end times, where we encounter a significant figure known as the Antichrist. This Antichrist is prophesied to oppose Jesus Christ directly, attempting to usurp his rightful place before Jesus returns in all his glory for the second coming. The Bible vividly describes the Antichrist as an entity who stands against both God the Father and God the Son, symbolizing the ultimate rebellion against divine authority. Within Christian belief, various descriptions have been associated with this nefarious figure. He is referred to as the little horn in Daniel's vision, the man of sin in Paul's second epistle to the Thessalonians, and the beast of the sea in the apocalyptic imagery found in the book of Revelation. These portrayals form an integral part of the Christian understanding of the Antichrist, painting a picture of an adversary steeped in evil and deception. The timing of the Antichrist's arrival is often intricately linked to the concept of millennialism and the eschatological framework surrounding the end times. Notably, in the New Testament, the term Antichrist appears exclusively in the epistles of John. While John likely coined this term, he drew upon familiar themes present in Jewish and early Christian writings, which often depicted the arch-nemesis of God's people. John's focus on the Antichrist is deeply Christologically driven, serving as a counter to heretical ideas that threaten the faith community. In this context, he identifies false teachers as Antichrists who deny the essential truth that Jesus is the Christ and that he came in the flesh. John's distinction between the singular Antichrist and the plural Antichrists is crucial. The term Antichrists refers to various false teachers and prophets who mislead the faithful, echoing the warnings given in the Olivet Discourse about the emergence of false messiahs. These individuals, as described in Matthew 24 verse 24 and Mark 13 verse 22, distort the truth about Jesus Christ and undermine Orthodox Christology, presenting themselves as leaders of subgroups that deviate from the apostolic norms established under Christ's Lordship. In 1 John 4 verse 3, we find a likely connection between the Antichrist and the abomination of desolation, the man of lawlessness, and the beast, figures steeped in prophetic significance. This anticipation of an evil figure draws from Daniel's visions and other prophetic elements in the Old Testament, depicting a man who is not only inspired by evil but also stands in direct opposition to God's chosen people. While John acknowledges the eventual coming of the Antichrist, he is primarily concerned with the present reality of false teachers who embody the very spirit of the Antichrist. The presence of these Antichrists serves as a sobering reminder that we are currently living in what the New Testament refers to as the eschatological last hour. This term signifies a period leading up to the culmination of the ages, 
marked by the final judgment and the ultimate salvation promised by God. Rooted in the Old Testament expectations of divine intervention, the New Testament writers firmly believed that the arrival, death, and resurrection of Jesus signaled the beginning of the last days, a timeline that will ultimately reach its fulfillment with his glorious return. They anticipated an increase in wickedness and significant world events unfolding before Christ's second coming, further emphasizing the need for vigilance and steadfast faith during these trying times. As we navigate this complex and often tumultuous world, let us remain anchored in the truth of God's Word, continuously seeking understanding and wisdom. Together, we can stand firm in our faith and draw closer to our Lord as we face the challenges and uncertainties of the present age. Paul warned of an eschatological deception where those who refuse to believe will be misled by signs and false teachings, masquerading as a false messiah but ultimately defeated at Christ's return. Throughout history, figures such as Nero, Stalin, and Hitler have been speculated to be the Antichrist, but these interpretations have proven incorrect. Nevertheless, each generation has witnessed individuals opposing Christ, embodying the spirit of Antichrist. The eschatological Antichrist, depicted in Revelation 13 as the Beast, plays a pivotal role in the end times, aligned with Satan, the great red dragon, in a fierce battle against God's people. The beast from the sea symbolizes the Antichrist, while the beast from the land represents a false prophet who enforces the Antichrist's worship. Together with the dragon, they form an unholy trinity that mocks the Holy Trinity. The Antichrist demands idolatrous worship, supported by the dragon's power, and claims divine status, particularly through a pseudo-resurrection that solidifies his influence. John parallels this figure to Daniel's vision of the little horn, portraying the Antichrist as boastful and persecuting the saints. Despite his temporary reign of 42 months, during which he wages war against believers, God will ultimately establish his kingdom and vindicate his people. John cautions believers to remain faithful amid escalating injustices, where all earthly inhabitants worship the beast, and the false prophet wields authority to execute dissenters. Economic oppression intensifies against the saints, but John encourages perseverance, echoing themes from the Old Testament. Signs of the Antichrist's arrival include global turmoil and unrest, as nations destabilize and leaders fail to provide lasting solutions. This figure will exploit humanity's longing for peace, presenting deceptive answers while gaining admiration. Additionally, Jesus warned of increasing natural disasters in Matthew 24, a sign of approaching tribulation. Believers will be spared from experiencing these firsthand but must recognize the signs and prepare spiritually. Wars and rumors of wars will also mark the times leading to the Antichrist's emergence, exacerbating chaos. Christians must remain discerning, resisting deceptive promises of power. Recent tensions in Israel hint at the potential for full-scale conflict, underscoring the need for believers to anchor themselves in biblical teachings, finding peace in faith despite chaos. Our hope rests in God's sovereignty and His righteous plan. Pope Francis also noted theories suggesting the Antichrist's presence. The apostate church leader theory proposes that the Antichrist will arise within the Christian church, exploiting divisions and leading many astray, drawing from passages like 1 Timothy 4 verses 1-2 about end-time apostasy. The alien deception theory posits that the Antichrist may present himself as an extraterrestrial being, emphasizing the supernatural deception this figure embodies. This concept resonates with biblical warnings about deception in the last days, supported by historical narratives of otherworldly interactions. The allure of advanced knowledge from such beings could mislead many, underscoring the necessity for vigilance against powerful false wonders, 
as cautioned in Matthew 24 verse 24 and 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 1. Imagine a being from another world arriving on earth, claiming to solve global problems and offering answers to humanity's greatest concerns. This figure could easily attract a massive following, leading to widespread worship, especially in a culture that idolizes celebrities and leaders. The signs of the Antichrist's arrival are becoming more apparent, and as believers, we must remain firm in our faith and scripture. Pope Francis emphasizes the need for vigilance in these uncertain times, reminding us to find hope in God's promises. The alien deception theory suggests that this being could embody a powerful deception foretold in scripture, enticing people with advanced knowledge and insights. This scenario raises the risk of billions abandoning their faith to worship a single entity, illustrating humanity's desire for truth and susceptibility to deception. Another theory posits that the Antichrist will be a religious leader who uses deceptive miracles to create a one-world religion, exploiting spiritual vulnerabilities. Additionally, he may emerge as a charismatic political leader uniting nations through promises of peace, prosperity, and resolution to conflicts, ultimately leading them away from God. In Daniel 7, the prophecy speaks of a powerful fourth kingdom that could symbolize the Antichrist's global government. This leader would dominate various nations, suppress religious faith, and redirect worship from God to himself. Thus, the theories regarding the Antichrist emphasize a complex narrative of deception and manipulation, warning believers to remain discerning and steadfast in their faith. Shifting our focus to the phrase, change the times and the law, we find a profound implication of the Antichrist's intentions to fundamentally reshape society's legal and moral frameworks. This transformation appears to be aimed at aligning societal norms with his own values and objectives, which starkly contrast with God's commandments. Such a radical overhaul suggests a systematic dismantling of established moral principles and legal standards, paving the way for the Antichrist's agenda to thrive unchecked. Daniel 7 verses 23-25 presents a compelling portrayal of a distinct and formidable ruler who ascends to power, adeptly manipulating laws, defying divine authority, and aspiring for global supremacy. These characteristics align seamlessly with the political leader theory of the Antichrist, depicting him as a charismatic figure who galvanizes the world under a singular government while simultaneously leading individuals away from authentic faith and devotion. The political leader theory surrounding the Antichrist has instigated a recurring pattern in modern discussions and analyses. It appears that whenever a prominent political figure emerges, capturing the public's attention, various speculative theories arise, proposing that this leader may be the Antichrist. This phenomenon suggests an almost cyclical nature to the conjectures surrounding the identity of the Antichrist, as each new political player seems to ignite fresh discussions and re-examinations of biblical prophecies. Some interpretations of these prophecies suggest that the Antichrist will originate from a revitalized or reconstructed Roman Empire, often drawing parallels to contemporary entities such as the European Union or other Western coalitions. This perspective is frequently linked to the symbolic interpretations of the beasts described in the books of Daniel and Revelation, which many scholars argue represent various political powers and entities throughout history. In this context, the rich symbolism of the beasts is perceived as a representation of political authorities, with the Antichrist emerging from a modern representation of the ancient Roman Empire. Proponents of this theory point to historical and geopolitical developments in Europe as potential indicators of the fulfillment of biblical prophecies concerning the Antichrist's rise. The rich billionaire theory posits that the Antichrist will manifest as a wealthy and influential figure who leverages his vast resources to manipulate and control global systems, including governments. 
To better understand this theory, we can examine several passages from Revelation 13, which provide significant insights into the characteristics and influence of the Antichrist. Revelation 13 verses 1 to 2 initiates the vision with the striking imagery of a beast ascending from the sea, adorned with ten horns and seven heads. These symbols have been widely interpreted as representative of various nations or power structures. Within the framework of the rich billionaire theory, the Antichrist may wield control over these structures, possibly assuming the role of the leader of a global corporation or an influential political figure deeply connected to multiple world governments. Furthermore, Revelation 13 verses 4 to 8 reveals that the beast is granted dominion over every tribe, people, language, and nation, captivating the masses with its authority and power. This imagery serves as a potent symbol of the influence and control that a wealthy individual could potentially exercise in contemporary society. The theory asserts that the Antichrist's immense wealth would empower him to shape public opinion, manipulate media narratives, and exert influence over political leaders. Additionally, Revelation 13 verses 16 to 17 describes how a second beast coerces all individuals to receive a mark, without which they cannot engage in commerce. In the context of the rich billionaire theory, this mark could symbolize the Antichrist's capacity to dictate global economic policies by occupying key positions in international finance or controlling crucial technologies. Consequently, the Antichrist would be positioned to enforce economic frameworks that align with his objectives and vision for the world. In summary, the rich billionaire theory interprets the vivid imagery and descriptions found in Revelation 13 as indicative of a wealthy and influential figure who will harness his resources to gain control over various sectors of society, including politics, economics, and technology. This interpretation sheds light on a persistent phenomenon in modern society, wherein individuals who accumulate vast fortunes and reach billionaire status frequently become the subject of speculation regarding their possible role as the Antichrist. Each year seems to usher in a new target for such conjectures, underscoring the enduring intrigue and fascination surrounding this prophetic figure and the broader implications of his existence. In addition to these theories, the intersection of technology and artificial intelligence with the spirit of the Antichrist introduces new dimensions to contemporary discussions. Some theorists propose connections between the Antichrist and the rapidly advancing realms of artificial intelligence and technological systems, emphasizing the deceptive and controlling attributes attributed to the Antichrist as delineated in Revelation. While the actual emergence of the Antichrist remains to be seen, many believe that the spirit of the Antichrist is actively at work in the world, preparing the ground for his eventual arrival. For believers, recognizing the signs associated with the Antichrist spirit is of utmost importance. As cautioned in 1 John 4 verse 3, any spirit that fails to acknowledge Jesus is not from God. Indicators of the Antichrist's spirit include the pervasive rise of secularism and the growing rejection of God's moral standards. The increasing societal emphasis on personal desires over divine guidance clearly reflects the insidious influence of the Antichrist's spirit. This theory further explores the ways in which technology and artificial intelligence can be exploited for manipulation and deception. The emergence of deepfake technology and widespread misinformation online poses significant challenges in discerning truth from falsehood. As technological advancements continue to unfold, the potential for deceptive practices escalates, resulting in an increasingly blurred line between reality and illusion. The utilization of AI systems to shape narratives and control information plays directly into the broader theme of manipulation often associated with the Antichrist's tactics. In conclusion, 
the technology and AI theory highlights a compelling connection between the spirit of the Antichrist and the current age of technological innovation. The potential for deception, manipulation, and control facilitated by artificial intelligence serves as a crucial reminder for believers to maintain vigilance in their faith and to cultivate discernment in their understanding of the world around them. Ultimately, the myriad theories surrounding the Antichrist serve both as cautionary tales and as invitations for believers to deepen their relationship with God, remaining steadfast in their commitment to His Word as society navigates an ever-evolving and increasingly complex landscape.